So as an independent spokesman acting for the market economy and a critical partner in the field of national, European and international uh, policies, the Luxembourg Chamber of Commerce sees its primary role in promoting the general economic interests of Luxembourg enterprises. As a public institution in enjoying financial autonomy and in encompassing almost all sectors of businesses in Luxembourg, we have today some 50,000 members accounting for 75% of total employment and representing 80% of the Luxembourg uh, GDP. The team of the Enterprise Europe Network uh, within the Luxembourg Chamber of Commerce is well integrated in its local professional environment and entertains privileged relations with all Luxembourg key stakeholders, including of course ministries, professional associations, embassies, bilateral chambers and many more. In this way, the Luxembourg Centre is very successful in pushing forward a constructive exchange of best practices as well as the co-organisation of large-scale events. In the Luxembourg Chamber of Commerce, the Enterprise Europe Network is embedded in the international affairs. These both teams are striving for the same goals and interests, and mainly to offer specialized services and to assist Luxembourg companies at all stages of their internationalization process. The network services allow the Luxembourg Chamber of Commerce to be visible abroad on foreign markets, and this mainly thanks to its implication as organizer and co-organizer of numerous international brokerage events organized through this vast European partner network. The Enterprise Europe network represents a fundamental ally to help European companies to internationalize, to innovate and to make the most of business opportunities. To conclude, I would like to address a message to the executive agency to make a much better use of the heterogeneous and polyvalent assets of this unique network next to other directorates of the European Commission and to promote it much stronger in-house. This internal collaboration, which can be easily put in place through the launch of centralized or decentralized European campaigns, would allow to efficiently vehiculate important European topics and policies in all regions of the European Union.